outside Aldi. Let's go and see what Savvy Miller can cook up tonight and Mark passes that trolley. And this is the cleanest and tidiest store I've been in for a while, Portrack Lane. So first off, we're going to get ourselves some lamb steaks and they're £4.19. Next, we're going to get some couscous and this is 49p. And this is the one perfect with lamb. Grab yourself some tomato puree and that's 59p. Grab yourself some carrots, they're 33p. And also some brown onions and they're 80p. Right, we're done then? We're done. Right, so what are we having then, Lou? We're having lamb and couscous. I'm doing the lamb in the casserole dish. Right, let's get to the tills and toss it up. And that's coming in at £6.70. Right, we're having lamb then tonight, um, so let's get it home. And cook it up. Right, so we're back home now, Lucy. Lamb from Aldi for less than seven quid in a meal. Blooming brilliant. Well, all I'm going to be doing is making it with some couscous, some vegetables, and it's just a really simple, easy meal. Dead tasty. We haven't done lamb for yonks. So first of all, I'm just going to peel the carrots. So I'm just cutting my carrots up now. Um, I'm doing them in circles. You can do them into batons if you like. They're all chopped up now. I'm going to get my casserole dish out of the oven. It's just had some oil in, heating it up for a little bit. Like that. And we're going to get the lamb chops in there. Lamb steak. Sizzle, sizzle. Bit of black pepper. Bit of salt. And some rosemary. Now, we're going to blast them for about three to five minutes on either side. So, the first side goes in now. So guys, why not press the follow button for more savvy meals? While that's cooking away, I'm just going to chop up my onions and I'm going to be using two. Right, so they've had five minutes on that side now, so I'm just going to get these out. Bubbling hot, hot, hot. And we're going to turn these over like so. I'm also going to add some garlic puree. Ooh, watch your eyeballs. Some more black pepper. Some more rosemary to this side. And some salt. And now I'm going to add some tomato puree. And a little bit more of oil. And that goes back into the oven for another five minutes only. And I've just made up 200 mils of stock here. This is beef one because I didn't have lamb one and um, the beef will do. Right, so that side's had five minutes now. And just be careful as you're getting it out because some of the oil is sizzling. So I'm just going to get these, just chuck them into the lid while you're just doing this. Or on the side if you haven't got a casserole dish. So that just goes there. And now at this stage, we're going to get all the veggies. Also going to get a bit more garlic, rosemary, and a bit of tomato paste, and your stock goes in now. And also the lamb back in, and we're going to give this a bit of a mix around while it's going back in. There we go. Just put that nice and neatly on top of your carrots and onions like that and then the lid goes on if you haven't got a lid guys um tin foil is perfectly fine and that goes into the oven we're going to stick it on 170 for approximately 20 minutes just need to get my other glove out don't want to burn my hands and there we go so while that's got about five minutes left, I'm just going to make up the couscous. So you just add that to 160 mils of hot water. Add that in. Fluff it up like so and put a lid on top of it. And that's finally ready to get out. Plate it up. There we go. You can use any veg you want, guys. I just think carrots and onions really go well with this dish. And here is the couscous as well. Again, if you don't want to use couscous, you can use 
mash. And that is a portion size big enough for two people. And there you go, guys. Another savvy meal. Lamb, couscous, carrots and onion. Right, only one thing to do. Let's give it a try. Oh, that lamb's so tender. Really nice and tasty. And the couscous, I just think it's a nice alternative. Mm. Give it a try, guys. Give it a try. Follow for more savvy meals.